VPN, I'll do a full on NordVPN review. And if you are a new VPN user or just want to know how to use it to its full potential, I've got you covered with the NordVPN tutorial too. Let's start the NordVPN review part with what's most important for any VPN, security. Is NordVPN secure? Well, yes, it has a great reputation and is one of the leading providers in the VPN industry. But what gives it such a reputation and what makes NordVPN actually safe? Well, for starters, NordVPN was the first provider that underwent an audit of their services. Many other VPN providers followed suit, making it a norm in the industry. Since then, NordVPN periodically completed more independent audits to always stay transparent. And in addition to audits, NordVPN uses other measures to ensure user privacy. It offers obfuscated servers, double VPN servers, and a kill switch. Now, Nord's VPN jurisdiction is within Panama, which is also a plus as it's a privacy-friendly zone. Additionally, it uses RAM-only servers, which means that even if they wanted to store user data long-term, they couldn't because it will be wiped out each time that server is shut down. With that said, I can give NordVPN a big fat check mark when it comes to privacy. Okay, what about security? Well, it has plenty of high quality security features and secure servers. NordVPN uses modern encryption that is unlikely to get cracked anytime soon. It is the main technology that makes my connection to the internet secure. So if you want a secure VPN provider, I can definitely recommend NordVPN. Besides, if you want to save some money on it, I've got an exclusive deal for it right here in the description. All right, I've already mentioned some of the security features that NordVPN provides, but it has plenty of additional features to offer as well. So let's review some of the more important ones. Firstly, I wanna talk about MeshNet because it's a fairly new NordVPN feature that I found to be very useful. It simplifies the process of routing my internet traffic through my devices instead of redirecting my traffic through a VPN server. The advantage is that I can maintain my home IP address even when I'm abroad. NordVPN MeshNet is great for things like sharing as it demands security and high-speed connectivity. However, it's not the easiest feature to use. Thankfully, there is an online NordVPN guide, which I found to be quite helpful. Now, dark web monitoring might not be a feature that pops into my mind first when I think of additional NordVPN features, but it's definitely worth a mention. While it's on, it works in the background and scans dark web marketplaces and forums in search of any data linked to the email address that I registered with. Considering the dangers of reusing passwords across multiple platforms, threat actors could exploit such vulnerabilities to compromise my accounts on various other services. NordVPN acts preemptively by notifying me if my email address is ever detected within a dark web marketplace, allowing me to stay informed and change my passwords immediately in case it has been compromised. NordVPN also has some advanced features like dedicated IP servers, you have to pay extra for this, but that's understandable considering what it does. With this feature, when I'm connected to the same server, my IP always stays the same. This is useful if you're not worried about staying anonymous, but are using a VPN for its other benefits. Now, if you want to stay anonymous above everything else, NordVPN has a double VPN feature for you. With it, you can hide your real identity behind two intermediary servers rather than just one. After your connections reach the first VPN server, they are then routed to the second one, meaning that the last intermediary has no ties to your real IP address or location, making it nearly impossible to track you. It also has a split tunneling feature. Now, in my opinion, it's a must have for any best VPN, but many popular providers still do not have it. Anyhow, split tunneling lets me choose which apps to use the VPN connection for and which should connect without it. It's useful for me as I like to have local suggestions on Spotify. And to make browsing secure, there is a NordVPN threat protection feature. It safeguards me from ads and malicious websites. It also stops me from downloading harmful files. I noticed that the ad blocker works really well. However, on iOS, Android, and browser extensions, only the threat protection light is available. While it gets the job done with the ads, 
The light version requires my VPN to be connected and does not protect from malicious files. All right, so NordVPN has plenty of useful features, but is NordVPN good when it comes to performance? Well, truth be told, it proved to be the fastest VPN I've ever tested. Because look, connecting to any nearby servers with NordVPN didn't drop my speeds by much. However, as per usual, when connecting to more distant ones, I experienced some differences. As you can see, connecting to Japan has some noticeable drops in speed, but overall NordVPN provided consistently high speeds. I am sure that its modern and fast Nordlinks protocol definitely helps with that. I've tested some other premium contenders like Surfshark and ExpressVPN for comparison, and NordVPN was still the fastest. So, of course, its stable speeds are enough not only for anonymous browsing, but streaming and other activities too. Now, on that note, NordVPN is actually a very reliable choice for accessing geoblock content. In my latest testing, I was able to unblock pretty much any library I wanted, from Netflix Japan to UK's BBC iPlayer and plenty of other different streaming services in between. All right, so it's secure, fast, and has plenty of features. Well, you might start thinking that it might not be so great for your pocketbook. So is NordVPN worth it? Well, yes. I mean, NordVPN is not the cheapest VPN I found. It's about average, actually, considering that it can be used on six devices simultaneously in addition to all the other things that it offers. That's a great value, especially if you choose their two year plan. Besides, you can get it at an even better price if you use our exclusive NordVPN coupon, which you can find in the description. And if you are still not sure if you want to get NordVPN, it offers a 30 day money back guarantee, which is more than enough time to test NordVPN free for yourself. Now, in case you wanna learn how to use NordVPN, well, I've got the NordVPN tutorial for you next. Luckily, it's really easy to use on all the operating systems. Well, maybe except for Linux, which lacks a graphical interface. But looking at NordVPN pros and cons, that might be the only negative that I can think of right now. Anyhow, on the other four, even beginners shouldn't have any trouble finding all the features. Besides, apps across different platforms keep the same design, making it a seamless switch between them. All right, so the easiest way to download NordVPN is straight from their website. The installation is nothing complicated either. A few clicks on next and I agree and hey, it's done. After launching the app, you will see this map interface and a menu on the left side. Let's start with the simple things like connecting to a server. The quick connect button is the easiest way to do it. It will pick the closest and fastest server. Now, if I want a specific location, I can move around the map or choose a country from this drop-down list. After selecting the server, it usually takes just a few seconds to connect. Now let's check the main configuration settings. Now the first thing I want to show you is the tunneling protocol. On Windows, just go to settings and then the connection tab. I recommend choosing Nordlinks. It's the fastest option and comes with the modern ChaCha20 encryption cipher. So it's really safe too. Public networks are anything but safe. Luckily, the auto connect feature can automatically enable VPN on those networks, while trusted ones can work without it. Now you might remember that I've mentioned threat protection, which will safeguard you from ads, malicious websites, and even detect harmful files. So I definitely recommend keeping it on at all times. To turn it on, just select this second tab on the left side menu. Oh, and I almost forgot, I definitely recommend turning on the kill switch, which you can find under the settings tab. There are two types on Windows PC. The stricter version interrupts the internet connection even if you turn the VPN off. It's a good way to ensure you don't forget to turn the VPN on before any online activities. All right, that actually covers my NordVPN tutorial. If you follow all these steps, you should be protected and ready to use internet safely. There are various other settings that can be useful in certain situations, but that's more up to personal needs and preferences. Don't hesitate to play around with it. And if something comes up, NordVPN offers excellent customer support, which you can reach straight from the app at any time. Simply fill in the questions in the pop-up window right here.
And if you found this video useful, we have plenty more up-to-date cybersecurity content to offer. So don't hesitate to subscribe to our channel. All right, so that covers my full NordVPN review and tutorial. Not only is it easy to use for beginners, but it also has plenty of additional features for seasoned users. It's amazing how fast you can go from nothing to an active and most importantly, safe VPN connection. It offers modern encryption, doesn't log your data, offers all the core security features, and has a performance fit for all the activities online, including streaming. And yes, if we put all of that together, I can easily say that NordVPN is still the market leading provider. All right, hopefully that answers what is NordVPN, how to use it, and whether you should get it. Hey, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in another video.